Bang. Do, do, do. It would be good to go there. Okay. We right. oh, shoot, I keep hitting the wrong thing. I'll, we'll get there. Hang That's on. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, technology is great till it's till uh, there we go. Now we're That's good. Not... There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, welcome everybody. My name is Kim Champney, and I'm happy to um, to see everyone at Health Tie today for our Thursday call. I'm so excited to introduce Alice Bruhard. I've seen Alice speak a couple of times, and she is a mom, and she'll talk about her daughter, Kara, and how she has supported her um, through with a very innovative use of simple apps that have um, really allowed her to live fairly independently. So I'm really excited. We, um, Alice will speak probably for 20-ish minutes. Um, she has a lot to share, I know, and then we'll have some time for questions at the end. So Alice, I'm gonna turn it over to you. Okay, thank you, Kim. Yeah, thanks. Hello, everybody. Nice to uh, broadcast remotely. I was just telling Kim, it may sound a little bit like an airport here periodically. We've got a wildfire burning. I live in rural Western Colorado and we've got a wildfire and there's the slurry bombers going over, so it's been quite active. So if it sounds like an airport, just I'll, I'll stop talking for a minute. Um, so anyway, again, I'm Alice. That's my daughter, Kara. Um, Kara sustained a traumatic brain injury when she was five years old. She was hit by an out of control skier at a ski area very close to our home here in Glenwood Springs. Um, severe enough brain injury that she was in a coma for two months and um, as she was recovering and, and we would learn the uh, extent of her injuries, we found as time went on that she uh, would be paralyzed on one side, that she was, uh, she had a pretty significant visual loss so um, she would never learn to be able to read. Um, she does spell phonetically. Uh, she has no concept of money. Um, or time, although she will take a $20 bill over a $5 bill any day. She's got that concept down. But anyway, just a, just a huge amount of challenges uh, because of her traumatic brain injury. Um, and I'm not gonna use the word disability here because Kara is the first one that says, I have abilities, I don't have disabilities. So I'll just talk about differing, the differing abilities that Kara, that Kara has. Um, anyway, she's, um, despite her traumatic brain injury, she's always been very, very self-determined and knows what she wants. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to go into huge detail because my time is limited, but um, from early on, we were told we should put Kara on a wait list for a group home. Again, living in rural Colorado, uh, that seemed to be the only option for her as we looked at her at her long-term needs. But at about age 10, Kara kept saying, I want to live in my own house. Um, so because I'm a registered nurse, I felt really comfortable asking questions, going to conferences, trying to learn what was available for Kara. Um, and as, as time went on, I learned that um, the value of technology, um, and, and we were able to move Kara into her own house in 2007. We had invested heavily in some technology before that, um, some software, a dedicated computer, a dedicated touchscreen monitor. Um, the software had someone's voice telling Kara what to do all day long. The dedicated monitor had another pro and software had another program in it that would give Kara step-by-step -step picture and audio prompts of what she needed to do um, to, make, to make it through the day. And with this uh, customized software and computer, we were able to move her into her own house. But then the computer broke, the software program didn't, the old software didn't fit the new computer. I and mean, it was just a huge technology mess. Um, in the meantime, my husband had a brain tumor and um, I started looking at things to help him because he struggled with a lot of the things that Kara did. It was a benign tumor, but it caused it a, lot of, um, a lot of damage. And we would have five notebooks and sticky notes and things like that all over the house. So I started looking at an iPod Touch initially and then I started finding apps on the iPod Touch that would help support my husband to be more independent. And I started looking at things that would help Kara. Um, and I, I have to tell you that first computer and software and, and all that, that was several thousand dollars. I can't even remember exactly, but it was between four and $6,000 for that whole system, which allowed Kara the independence that she craved. But you know, once, once it broke, I was like, okay, what next? So, because of my husband and the iPod Touch and trying to support him, 
um, I was able to find, I said, well, maybe I can find something on the iPad. So I started exploring things on the iPad and lo and behold, I found that I could replicate the same system that Kara had with her multi, several thousand dollar system with an iPad and two apps. The first app that runs Kara's life costs $1.99. And the second app that runs Kara's life costs um, less than $20. Um, at that point in time, I think her iPad was $399, her basic iPad. So I was able to, du to duplicate this high-end system for less than $500. And the beauty of this system, especially with this particular app, Kara can use her own voice to tell herself what to do all day long. Um, with the old system, there was a woman who had pre-recorded her voice kind of based on Kara's schedule, and Kara would argue with that person. She called her computer Lucille. Lucille, don't tell me what to do. Lucille, stop it. But now with this particular app, she can remind, she can, all day long, she is the one telling herself what to do. I'm going to just quickly go into the app and show you some things, some things about it. And I know Kim had sent um, on one of the, on one of the uh, reminders about this meeting, had sent out how to, to actually get to the app store, Apple App Store to get it. So you'll have that information too if you're interested in this once this presentation is over. So I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna take you into Kara's reminder app. And right now we're looking totally at, at Kara's day. Um, she has a lot of prompts in the morning for her to get up. Getting up is the hardest time of the day. She's someone who um, could get up, sit on the side of the bed because she doesn't have the internal clock that we all have in our head. Um, she can't tell time, so she can't go, oh, it's 3.08, I need to go do something else. She can just sit and sit and sit. So Alexa, so this um, reminder app becomes the internal voice in her head that tells her that it's time to get up and get going and get out of bed. Um, so I'll just, I'll just go on quickly play. Oh, this is my favorite. Not only can she use um, her own voice, we can also record little clips of music um, we can do, we can do sound bites. We can do all kinds of things, but at, she's got a little dog named Phoebe and at 7.50 AM, she needs to let the dog out. So I'm going to go on and let you hear what that sounds like for her when she, when, for Phoebe. So that's, that's one really cool way to use that app, to use sound bites. And I tell you, Phoebe beats Kara to the door once that music goes on. Um, the other thing, you know, Kara can use, Kara gets up, you can see she has a lot of reminders. Um, at 8.17, eight, at eight I'm going to play her coffee prompt so you can hear Kara's voice telling herself what to do. Kara, turn on the switch of the coffee maker, because the beds are the breaking up. So again, we can be very, very creative with how Kara organizes and gets through her day. And you can, again, you can see that from 7.30 to probably, oh gosh, nine, about 9.30 or so, um, she has a lot of prompts. Again, she needs that kind of reminder herself to what she needs to do to get through her morning. Um, I've talked to some people who maybe just need a few prompts to get them going. Others like Kara need a lot of prompts. But it's interesting that she's worked with this system now since 2011 or 2012. A lot of times she'll be ahead of herself when, it, when it's time to do something. Like I go over in the morning and have coffee with her and she'll be two or three prompts ahead of what the prompt is going to say. And I've said, would you like me to turn that off? You, don't, you really don't need that prompt anymore. You're doing so great without it. And she's told me, mom, I like to hear myself think, which is something we all do. I think we all kind of, you know, we, we do that self-talk and Kara's self-talk is coming through, that, through, coming through her iPad rather than, than in her head. Um, so we've kept all of, you know, a lot of prompts, probably a lot more prompts than she needs because she likes to hear herself think. Um, it's no harder to do, to create a new prompt. I'm going, hopefully I can get in here. I've got a lot of, oh, here we go. Let me get here. I just touched um, a plus sign on my iPad. Um, I can go in and create a variety of different prompts. It's no harder to do this than it is to fill out 
um, to order something from Amazon or from an online. You just literally go through field by field by field and fill them in. And then when you're done, you would hit save. Very, very easy to, very, very easy to do this. On Kara's iPad, I have a lot of, um, of pictures. There are like pre-made images that you can use. Oh, I have to hit my iPad. There's pre-made images that you can use. Um, there we go. These are a lot of images that I pulled in from, from Google that, uh, that pertain to Kara. Or there's actual images that I can use um, that come with select image from app, just pretty standard images. Um, but again, Kara's an on-reader, so she will come over and she'll look at the pictures, or she would come over and look at the pictures and go, oh, for example, the print time at 940. Um, that would just clue her in. Besides the, the audio prompt, she could also see the picture. Now, oh, gosh, it's time to get into the bathroom and start my print. So there's a lot of different things that you can do can do with this app. And you literally just go through each item on the field and fill it in until you're done. Um, so I'm just going to cancel, cancel that app. Nothing at all hard about using this app. And boy, I mean, life-changing. Um, there's there's uh, checky boxes over here. You do not have to do the check boxes when you're done. The app will run regardless. You can see she's all the prompts she's already gone through the day. But how powerful is it for her to go in and check off? She likes to go in the kitchen when, um, like after her breakfast and check off. Oh, I did that. She knows the red box. Oh, I did that. Oh, I, I'm okay. I've done that. Um, so uh, great, great app for $1.99. Crazy, crazy. Okay. Um, I'm going to quick go back into my keynote. I'm going to be jumping between apps and things here. Um, this, I mean, I'm just going to leave the, the apps on the side because it'll uh, take less time, I think. Um, for this particular app, you have to go into settings for the reminders and, um, and set up voice. Notifications or have apps talk to you. Um, and I wanted to, at the end of this presentation, I, my email is up there. I've got a really detailed handout on how to get up and going on this app. So if any of you are interested, please, please, please email me. Um, believe me, I've been through, I know this app inside and out. And I've and I figured out the easiest way to use it to, uh, to support people that need this kind of support. So please email me if you're interested in my emails at the very end. Okay, um, the next app, okay, and yeah. So, and with this app, you have to open and close the app daily if, if you have a lot of reminders. It's like anything with Apple, you have to reset an app after some sort of notification goes off 64 times. And that's in my handout, so I won't go any farther into that. Um, the other thing that runs Kara's life is an app called Pictello. It might be $19.99 now. It was $18.99 when we got it. Sometimes it's on sale for half price. Um, but this was an app that was created uh, for children to, to, uh, to create stories. Um, but I've used it for that step-by-step -step picture and audio prompting that Kara, that Kara needs in her life. And I'm going to close that out. I'm going to open up Pictello. Um, oh, and I was playing around with this before. Do you know what is next? Oh, sorry. I'll go back home. Okay, I'll go back home. So uh, anyway, this is Kara's step-by-step -step picture and audio prompting for a lot of things in her life. Um, she cooks by crock pot and microwave. Um, she does have support people that help her for certain hours during the day, but if no one's there to help her with cooking, she can certainly go on and do it all by herself with, uh, cr with the crock pot and microwave. Um, she also bakes cookies for the policemen and firemen here in Glenwood Springs um, once a week. Um, I'll just take you into one of her cookie recipes real quick, just so you can kind of get the hint, the idea of how we do this step by step. Um, I'll go into Kara's four in one cookie recipe. So um, it's just step by step. She would just touch this to activate it. The Kara's four in one cookie recipe. Get out that fabulous cookie card. Have your helper preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Get out your cookie sheets and a stick of butter to grease them. You can also cover the cookie sheet with foil. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's, it's a fairly long recipe, but just so you get the idea. I've, right now I've got it set up in slideshow mode. 
but I can set it up because I've demonstrated now I can set it up so that Kara would literally have to touch the pick the, the iPad each time she wanted to flip to the next the next um, step and she could she could also go forward or backward if she needs to very very nice visual here um, very very easy for her to use this um, we've created a lot of recipes for step-by-step -step picture and audio prompting and it works great but this would be this is a phenomenal app for job coaching I mean, you could do um, you could do a ton of stuff with this with this app for job coaching. I'm just going to quick take you into the app itself. Oh, I'm in the in the app. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, you you can do it. You can just do a ton of stuff um, for job coaching. And again, you would just go on and um, start to create a new recipe here, or a new uh, a new task or whatever it is you need. And there's two different modes, and it'll just totally talk you through what you need to do. Um, based on, on, on what task or what, uh, what activity you're trying to do. And again, it's just step by step, very easy to fill in, um, easy to bring in. You can bring in movie clips, you can bring in still pictures, you can actually be the one giving the instructions. I always have Pictello app give the instructions, but I could give care, I could be giving care of the, the verbal instructions. Or, or, uh, or the app could. And there's a variety of voices to choose from within the app. Uh, again, for job coaching or something like that, it's, it would just be phenomenal. Um, but Kara has used this app for a long time, 1899. It's, it's a lifesaver for us. I'm gonna jump back up into my keynote, keeping an eye on time here, because there's, so there's so much to cover. I always have, I, I always go, oh my gosh, more stuff. Um, so the, the, I will say the downside about both of these apps, they're both Apple only. I have looked and looked on Android, Google Play. I don't, I've not found anything similar on Android or Google Play. But um, you know, if this is something that really is going to be a game changer for someone's life, I would say beg, borrow, steal. Well, don't steal, I shouldn't say that. Beg or borrow an iPad, get the apps, um, and, uh, and, and think about using it. Um, they're, you know, it's, it's life changing. It's, it's just life changing for people. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is something that, again, because of your, because of your internet connection, Wi-Fi in Alaska, for some of you, this might not work, but, but I want to talk a bit about, um, Amazon Alexa. Um, I'm using that a lot for Kara and she's using it a lot for herself, which is huge, which is so cool to me. Um, oh, I'll, actually I'll go talk about backups first. Um, it, when you do get going into apps, I always tell people to use apps that allow you to back up your work. We all took w work way too hard to create things like this and we don't want to lose our work. Um, the reminders app is really cool because every reminder that I created for Kara, that she created for Kara, I can bundle it all up in an email and we can send it back and forth. So I right now have all of her reminders, her 70 some reminders backed up on an, I have an email in a, in a folder on my desk, on my iPad. And if her iPad would break or something would happen, we really wanted to make big changes. I could um, just open that email up on the new iPad and boom, all of those prompts will just pop right back down again. So you only have to create things once and then make modifications once, um, once you get going with it. Um, Pictello also has a great backup feature. You can you can um, uh, back up to the iCloud, or you can also create a file. And I, can, I email myself. I, I've created an account within Pictello, and I can email myself new recipes. If I create a new recipe at my house for Kara, or vice versa, I can email that via Pictello as well, and it'll just pop right open on Pictello. Um, so it's a great, great, a great, great feature, and especially if you're thinking it about about it as an employment feature. Um, you know, you could work with someone and as their needs change for what they, what they need for support, it would be really easy to change it on Pictello and then just, and then just share that back up, back and forth. It's super easy to do that. So the next thing I wanna talk about, like I'm gonna look at my watch here. Oh gosh, I'm 20 minutes, Kim, can I have, what should I do, five more minutes? Keep going, keep going, yeah. Good. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is Amazon Alexa, um, and I've got it right. Be I've got an old one or one right behind me. It's an older one. It's the Echo Show at the screen. Um, we're using it a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. Um, and what it can all you need for Alexa, you need um, an Amazon account, 
tablet or smartphone in the Alexa app, and you do need good Wi-Fi for it. So I know that might be um, an issue in some parts in Alaska and in rural, in rural Colorado, as we know. Um, Alexa also comes with an app. These are some of the things you also can do. Place in Zealand region in Denmark. Oh, okay. Alexa thought I was asking about New Zealand. I'm going to silence her a minute. Um, this is a this is one little piece of the Alexa app, where I can create lists and notes. I can uh, ask Alexa to remind me of things. I can create routines. At our house, I've created a routine again my because of my husband and his brain issues. At 6:01 every morning, Alexa says good morning. And then she tells Jim what's on his calendar for the day. And then she plays 15 minutes of reggae. I created a routine for that. And the reggae is great because he can be kind of a grump, but after 15 minutes of reggae, he's tapping his toes and he's feeling ready to start his day. Uh, skills are like apps. So there's a lot of things you can do with skills. Um, this is the Echo Show that I've got right here. Um, I can do drop-in with Kara. She's, this is the one with the screen. It's an older one. So I can do a face-to-face -face video chat with her. We can drop in back and forth. But the really cool thing that I saw this week, in fact, Kara is always asking me, Mom, how do I? Um, Mom, tell me about. And I've always said, Kara, we have to Google that. When we get home, we'll Google that. She's always asking me when I'm, you know, we're out doing something. Um, and she's she spells phonetically or she doesn't spell at all. And this week with the fire going on, I um, had I brought her home from an activity and she wanted to write something about the fire. And she said, Alexa, how do I spell fire? So it totally took it away from me to Alexa. She's always asking Alexa questions. Alexa, Wikipedia, and she'll ask the questions that she would ask me. And it's Alexa's right by her, um, her kitchen table. So um, so Alexa has been a game changer for us in terms of allowing Kara that much more independence. Not having to ask me how to spell something is huge. For her to do that critical thinking to figure it out, it was just, it was, it was so exciting. I was so happy for that. It was like, yes. So more and more tech. Um, I'm going to quickly show, show you how Kara uses her smart speaker. Are you ready to show people how Alexa works? Yes. Okay, go on and get started. Alexa, good morning. What's today and who's coming over? Good morning, beautiful. You should be paid for looking so good. What about what day is it? Oh, and what day is it? <laughs> what about Alexa? Alexa, what day is it? It's Tuesday, May 29th. What about Alexa, what am I doing today? And Alexa, what am I doing today? Today there are two events remaining. We will be with me today for a terrific Tuesday is in progress and ends at 2.30 p.m. At 12 p.m. there's wind walkers and horses. You wanna check the weather before you go horseback riding? I will. Okay. Yes. Alexa, what's the weather supposed to be like? In Glenwood Springs, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can look for partly sunny mm -hmm. weather with a high of 77 degrees and a low of 44 mm -hmm. degrees. Oh, that's perfect. Uh -huh. How much do you like Alexa? I love it. Completely love it, yes. Would you recommend Alexa for others? I would, yes. Okay, over and out. Over and out. Huge, huge game changer for us. Um, I'm not going to talk about this skill, but if you're someone who has is interested in Alexa, this is a huge skill. Uh, well, I'll talk about it a little bit. I always say that uh, all has all care all Kara has to do is say Alexa, ask my buddy to send help, and immediately I will get a text. Um, my phone, my landline will ring, and I'll get an email um, at letting alerting me that Kara needs needs help, and that's all she has to do. It's way it's been way more responsive than the fall monitor that she wears around her neck. Uh, but that's a, that's a skill that I always like to recommend on Alexa. Um, if you are wanting apps, Google best app for, that's how I learned things. I thought about the area of need and I Googled what I, you know, what app I wanted to learn about. Um, I read the reviews on the app store. Um, I don't buy, I don't get apps anymore unless I see that they've been updated fairly recently. Um, the older apps often won't work. Um, I, the operating system went through some major changes, I think about a year ago, and some of the apps that I loved that I initially got like 10, eight and 10 years ago, didn't work because the app 
developers didn't update them. So I, I'm a lot more picky with my apps now um, than I was. So just some, just some general hints that I want to give you guys. Um, I don't set up automatic automatic updates. I always read what's going to change before you update. There's, I've got a long story about that with Apple and change.org. But um, anyway, just word of caution. Um, don't update, don't update, read, what, read what's gonna to happen to the app before you update your app. Um, and the developers will always say what's changing before you do the update. So again, just another hint and tidbit in terms of apps. Um, sometimes when you do update, sometimes the whole look of the app will change. This is a great meditation app. Um, it's called Headspace. Um, I'm not gonna go into it, but it's just a great meditation app. But, um, Kara was very proficiently able to use this app, but they made some changes to it. So visually it looks different. So I need to go in and do some more training with her on how to use a new, the new visual feature that Headspace has. But I, I wanna just talk about this really briefly, Kim. I'm almost done, I swear. But look at this, I just opened this yesterday and I've noticed this on another app or another web page that I went to. Some of the web pages now are starting to build in accessibility features. So um, if you're, as, you're, as you're starting to do some web searches, if you see this feature, click on it and you'll be act actually able to, to modify the web page for how it best suits your needs. I saw that on, on this one and then Eddie Bauer had a sale. So I was looking at Eddie Bauer today and they had this same thing as well. Um, and honestly, first time I've seen it, it's kind of cool stuff. Um, so, you know, so if you've got someone who's really visual and memorizes how an app is used, keep in mind that when you do update it, sometimes the look will change. Pictello and the Reminders app have been steady as she goes, the same for years. So I, I don't worry about that in terms of looks. I'm gonna do one more thing because um, I wanna share one more thing about Kara because I think it really gives you a good feel for who she is and how she manages her day. Um, and then we'll be ready for questions. Hello, my name is Kara Eileen Brohard and I live at um, 4274 Morgan Street. When, huh, when I'm an old lady, I would like to be drinking a margarita and rocking off the porch. Then kaboom. I will lie my mom and dad to live in their own house until they die. I'll go back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, and check on them all the time. Well, she's going to take care of us when we get old. So, I will always need a dog to take care of me and protect me, and I will take care of it, too. I take care of my own house just fine. I cook in a microwave, I cook in a crock pot, and I can take care of my house just fine. I do my own dishes every day of the week. I manage my own medicine just fine, and I take medicine for seizures. And I use a medicine container, too. I see Dolores now for healthcare, and I'm allergic to sulfa, phenobarb, hornets, bees, and wasps. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to scoop poop and keep everything in back clean. She loves scooping poop. <laughs> yeah, good for her. I don't have to do it. A one-handled pooper scooper. When I'm done with all my chores, I like to come over and sit in my chair and relax and watch movies. Mm -hmm. 
And thank you for taking time to learn about my life. This is Kara Eileen Brohart signing off. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> and to me, the value of this more than anything else, this use of Pictello, is that when people see that story about Kara, no one is going to say, you can't live in your own house. No one is going to, there's no one that's going to say that. They're going to say, oh, and that's a good, that was worked out to be a really good way for her to be able to share with other people just how independent she is. And again, that less than $20 app um, gives her that gives her that ability to say, no, I'm fine, I can do this. Um, again, so if you want a detailed handout, just shoot me an email, it's down here at the bottom. Um, I've also got some information about Amazon Alexa, about how, how to set it up. Um, there's just, there's so many cool features to Alexa. And again, I've looked at the features that really promote um, self, um, independent thinking, um, self-direction. Um, so that's pretty much what my Alexa handout is about. Uh, but please, 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 um, I've got it already downloaded on my iPad, um, so I can very readily send you um, the Word document that I've created for uh, reminders in Pictello and, and Alexa. So I went way over. So no, Thank you, Alice. Alice did a two-hour training a few weeks ago that I went to, so 20 minutes was a big task. Um, and we are out of time. Um, but I feel like, you know, Alice is super responsive with email and I would encourage people to reach out. And I so appreciate you really, we'd love to have you up here, Alice, to do a whole workshop with us on how to in integrate these tools. Um, but I thank you for being on today and oh, thank you. we will be posting this recording so it'll be available to share widely. And um, thank you so much for sharing the message and the story of your family. Thank you. Yep. I always think about that mom out there wondering what's next, what's next. So if I can help that mom or dad go, oh, I can do this too. It's all, it's great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.